Hi folks, in today's video, I'm gonna be demonstrating three Gemini browsers. Now, for those of you that don't know, Gemini is an alternative protocol to what we might think of as the World Wide Web. Um, in terms of functionality, it sits somewhere between Gopher and the World Wide Web. It's got more features than Gopher, but is substantially more lightweight than the World Wide Web itself. So you use it to uh, browse um, websites that are in the world of uh, Gemini space are tend to be referred to as capsules. Uh, I've got one, my good friend HexDSL has one, and my other good friend Donald Rumsfeld has one. And we're gonna be taking a look at them today. However, um, I'm gonna be showing you these uh, capsules through three different um, browsers, each of which I think have their own merits, and uh, I'll let you folks choose as to which is best suits your needs. Uh, quite frankly, I'm going to be bouncing between all of them because part of the fun of Gemini is just uh, enjoying exploring all of this uh, new interesting technology that's been developed by, um, you know, just like regular people and not multi billion dollar corporations, which I think is incredibly refreshing. So, as you can see here, I've got uh, my Gemini capsule here in what's called the Crystal browser. So this is what you might expect um, when you think of, or this is what you might think of when you think of a, a web browser. Uh, you've got a back button, you've got a forward button, you've got a refresh button, you've got favorites, you've got history, you've got bookmark, well, bookmarks and favorites, are kind of the same thing. Um, and then, yeah, you just scroll on stuff um, and then you, uh, you know, you sort of click on links here and there, like, uh, like that. Really very simple. Uh, what's interesting uh, about this particular uh, web, uh, sorry, Gemini capsule browser, I'm going to slip into that, uh, that, that that by accident from time to time, is that um, there is a setting, in fact, I can actually just demonstrate it to you today, um, the style setting, and if you go down here, you can go to uh, auto theme generation, go to dark theme, and then go to OK, and then refresh. And then I can go to, say, for example, Hex's um, capsule, and then I can do a refresh, and it, and it basically chooses a random combination of colors, like a random theme. So that way, you've got a little bit more of a visual recollection as to which, which site is which, right? So here we go. Um, but yeah, uh, I tend to prefer setting my own theme, which you can actually do here. It's very simple. You're just choosing some colors. Um, and I like it because it does offer, you know, like I can choose it as I wish. Uh, I can choose sort of the level of contrast that I need for my personal needs and requirements. Um, but also sometimes some of the randomly generated themes, they don't necessarily offer the greatest of contrast. Sometimes you'll get something, you know, you get some like red text on a green background and that kind of thing. Uh, so it's, you know, up to you as to whether or not you find that uh, feature useful, but it, it does sort of give you a visual distinction from page to page. Um, but yes, you've got bookmarks, you've got history, um, you can manage uh, your, you know, all of the various uh, cert uh, certificates quite easily. Um, I am using the app image of the nightly build, uh, which you can just uh, pull down from their GitHub page. And I will, of course, link to that in the description below. So it's not necessarily as full featured as you might expect from a Firefox or a Chrome, but it, but then again, Gemini is a much leaner protocol anyway. So uh, this to me is, you know, what I would use if I, uh, I'm feeling a little bit more like, well, you know, I, I, like I want a GUI, basically. Uh, like I want a, you know, like a graphical user interface, just, just, to, just to browse uh, Gemini capsules. It's very low effort. You just simply run the program and, and away you go. Um, and um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly what, what it sort of says on the tin, really. So that's the Crystal uh, browser. Okay, on to the second one. This is a terminal browser. Uh, this is Amphora. This is the one that Hex and Drew really like, and I also really like it too. Now, I've actually enlarged the text here so that you can actually, you know, read it a little bit better, but um, I can actually sort of zoom out a little bit there as well. But um, there we go. So this, uh, and as you can see, I've got that funky banner across the top in ASCII art. Um, but really, you know, you just use the arrow keys to scroll up and down. Uh, it does have Vim key bindings. Uh, if you press shift, or if you if you do shift and question mark, question mark, uh, it does bring up all the keyboard combinations that you can use. Um, and it has all of the things that, um, it, this is pretty full featured when it comes to Amphora as well. Uh, I'm still discovering all of the, the how this works. Um, one of the things that you can do is you can press F1 and F2 and that switches between tabs. So um, that's, you know, quite a good feature for a command line browser. Uh, you just press F1, F2, and then 
Um, so that's uh, Drew's website, that's Hex's website, that's my website. Um, and then you just press Control T to open up a new tab, and away you go. You press Spacebar. Um, that's sort of like you know to to uh, to to allow you to sort of type in extra commands. Uh, you just press one through nine to select a link. So if I wanted to go to how to set up your own Gemini server, I just press two, uh, and then uh, I can just go uh, press B to go back. So it's 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 as simple as that. If I wanted to, for example, go to uh, where it says the Agate server website. Uh, I could press space and 11. I'm not going to do that because that would just fire open my browser because it's an HTTP link rather than a Gemini site, which I have no need to do for the purposes of this video. But otherwise, this is, um, yeah, Anfora. Uh, I think that it looks absolutely lovely. It's probably, in my opinion, the best looking. What I really like about Amphora is that the headings in, the, um, in, in a Gemini page, they're color coded with a hashtag. Uh, which is, um, uh, I much prefer it over having, shall we say, larger headings, because the thing is with having larger headings is that they don't really offer any greater functionality other than to denote importance. But having the hashtag to denote importance, so you've got one hashtag, Chris's Gemini capsule for the first heading, two hashes for the capsule contents, uh, and then you've got three for the extended capsule orbit. Um, you know, that's, that's a heading three. Um, and I've also color-coded as well, just to make it easy, you know, just to, to, to go to. Um, so yeah, uh, this is this is this is wonderful. Um, easy enough to uh, to download and install. So I will of course put the link in the des uh, description of this video as well. Um, this this aims to be very very specific to Gemini, very full featured, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this one uh, sh uh, you know uh, comes out, but um, or develops as we go. Um, but yeah, and you can, you've got things like subscriptions, uh, bookmarks, uh, all of that great stuff. So, you know, uh, that's great. Yeah. So uh, very easy to browse. If you're looking for something uh, keyboard based, if you're looking for something command line based, Amphora is pretty fantastic. However, there is another. This is Bollocks. Wonderfully named B-O-L-L-U-X. This is my website in Bollocks. Um, it's much more like this, this is using the exact same theme as my, um, command line terminal. Uh, and, uh, I can sort of make the text a little bit smaller if you want, or make it a bit bigger. Uh, that's just decreasing and increasing the size of my terminal text. Um, this is written entirely in bash and is about 16 kilobytes big. So you don't, of course, need to be a multi-billion dollar corporation to develop a web browser or a Gemini browser. Uh, you can just uh, be a, a bloke with a bash script, and that's pretty fantastic. Uh, I believe it uses less to actually render the text, so that, I suppose, would be the equivalent of your rendering engine. Um, and this is, uh, you know, if you just want a bash script to actually view Gemini sites on it, um, this is it. Works rather similar. I like it's it, it has substantially fewer features than Amphora, but this is a work in development, so there will be more stuff. I just love this as a concept. I love the idea that you can just have a browser that's a bash script. That's brilliant. Genius. Chef's kiss. It's fantastic. Um, it looks great as well. Um, you get to choose, of course, your font, uh, your, 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 uh, theme through your terminal, which is particularly wonderful because if you've got certain, uh, you know, color blindness or visual impairment, impairments, um, uh, maybe that you need to apply a screen reader to it. Uh, a screen reader, uh, which you can apply to a terminal, then would apply to this, and then it would be great. Although I would imagine the same thing applies to Amphora. And that's one of the things I really like about Gemini is that because it's such a simple protocol, because it's so text centric. Uh, it allows for greater accessibility to people that do require things like screen readers, braille terminals, uh, so, you know, changes in size of text, changes in size of screen. Like, you know, most website, most um, Gemini sites will look just as good on a mobile browser as they will on a um, uh, on a desktop browser, which is particularly wonderful. I wonder how my big ASCII banner will look on, on mobile. There are... Um, the browser on mobile I'm using at the moment is called DDUM. Uh, there is another one, I think it's called Arian, um, but I'm, don't don't uh, hold me to that. Both are available in the F-Droid store. I'm not certain about the Google thing because I don't use it. Um, but yeah, uh, so so if you've got a particular, you know, so, so this almost comes working out of the box because all of your, um, you know, uh, theme settings and all that kind of stuff will uh, already, of course, be set by your terminal. 
Um, yeah, use arrow keys to, to scroll up and down. Um, o to open, G to go to. Um, you use the, you've got the uh, square brackets to go back and forward uh, and R to refresh. And it's, it, that's it. It, that's that's all you need. Okay, so with bollocks, uh, it's reasonably straightforward to use. Arrow keys scroll up and down. Um, open takes us to a list of links on the page. Uh, so for example, uh, I can go to uh, number two, and that will set up how to set up your own Gemini server, gemini.gmi. And there we go. Uh, and then I can just use uh, is the angle bracket to go back. Yeah, that's wonderful. And then what I can do is I can press G, and uh, no, that uh, yeah, no, G, G, yeah, G goes to go to. So, for example, if I want to go to Hex's site, I go to hexdsl.co.uk, and there we go. So, we're into to Hex's site now, and that's really about it. And then you press R to refresh for whatever reason why you might want to refresh. Uh, very straightforward. <laughs> I mean, it's the most lightweight browser imaginable, as far as I can tell. And do you know what I find really beautiful about it is that it's so refreshing to be able to like take something like a browser and then just like look through the code like one of the core sort of dreams of the the open source movement originally was this idea that we'd all be able to order each other's code um to make sure that or to, you know so that we could either improve it or uh to to audit it or, or or really simply just to see how it works for inspiration uh moreover and anything else um this is this is remarkable like this is a wonderful um little uh browser um it's just all in a bash script i'm absolutely i'm absolutely enamored with it i think that it's incredibly um uh yeah i think it's a um a testament to the strengths of the gemini protocol quite frankly uh and it it works like i i could use bollocks as my only as my only browser if i wanted to um, so it's, it's it's not exactly like having to you know browsing Gemini is taking up any space on your um, on your machine other other than other than the sixteen other than the sixteen kilobytes. I think there are a couple of repositories in there, but um, when I came to install it, it was stuff that I already had installed anyway. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, I put this uh, forward just as a demonstration of how you can actually get a pretty good browser um, just just through a Bash script. And most people would think if you just raise the idea with anyone, you know what? I'm going to develop a browser using just Bash. They'd laugh at you. Yeah, they'd laugh at you. They'd uh, they, they they wouldn't take you seriously. And uh, and here we are. And, and it's the strength of Gemini. It truly is. Um, I will be doing a, a video talking more about the uh, sort of the, the software philosophy behind Gemini. It's incredibly fascinating. Uh, in fact, if I go to uh, here, we are Gemini. Dot, uh, circumlunar.space uh, there's a lot of documentation on this particular Gemini site uh, that will outline like why Gem you know the parameters of G uh, Gemini why Gemini is what Gemini is um, and and some of the some of the thoughts and philosophies behind it and it's it's really good reading like it's really interesting to read um, and it, it, it really does sort of go back to the sort of the roots of, of the World Wide Web uh, looking at it not necessarily as an app delivery platform, but rather as a document delivery platform, the original intentions of the World Wide Web, uh, and to see, uh, you know, like how how it can be made uh, to serve the user uh, better and corporations just a little bit less, I suppose. But like I say, that's a discussion for another video. Thank you folks very kindly for watching. Please let me know if you've um, tried out any other um, Gemini clients or browsers in your, uh, you know, uh, in your time uh, exploring the Gemini protocol. But um, yeah, that's about it from me today. Thank you folks very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Toodaloo.